Hey Gypsies! Welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday! So I have got a Dollar Tree haul over here. I've got one more in the back that I'm going to do tomorrow and then I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree again and see what they got. But I might go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. But anyway, it's Sunday. It's a gorgeous day. It's hot. I finally figured out how to find my temperature so it says it's 85 so it feels about 85 i'm telling you i've got to do this and then i've got to go to kroger get some stuff for dinner and then tonight i need to plan my click list order for tomorrow because i've just been off track with doing that so i want to get back to doing that and, and maybe making a video i'm not sure like i still haven't made my mind about that so yeah anyway let me go ahead and get this boro out the way i don't even need to take it out of the out of the bag do i it's just the strong and soft i have it memorized tp four rolls in a pack i buy it a lot so you know there we go <laughs> okay guys so let me go ahead hold on a minute i've got a lot of different containers here so i'm gonna start let's see here i'm gonna start with the best okay I'm going to start with the best, just so I can show you guys, and I can have something to put this other stuff in while I'm showing you guys. But first, let me go ahead and show you this. I just got a three liter of orange pop. This is for my son, Jeremy. It is the Stars and Stripes Orange Pop, three liters for a buck. He likes it. He's never complained about it. So, something smells like maple and brown sugar. I wonder what that wonder what that is up in here okay so let me show you this first of all now you guys know the tubs that we've all been getting right um so i found some new colors and i had never seen these colors anywhere and i'm like what so they have gray i mean this is really really pretty like if you are a person that doesn't like a lot of color you may like to get gray or white. I don't know if they have black or not. I haven't seen black, but you'd think that they would. But this gray just seems kind of a classy gray if you can, if there's such a thing as a classy gray. So I picked up just one of these. And then the other ones, look at this. It's this color. This is that gorgeous peachy melon color. I don't know, like a light peach baby melon baby melon yeah baby melon let's just say that's a new color baby melon um but anyway i got two of these just because like this is one of my favorite colors that like vt has been putting out here lately so i'm like i'm grabbing two of those these are huge bins i love these bins i haven't figured out the perfect use i mean of course storage you know just like floor and stuff but like i am going to be redoing my garage and putting like a bunch of shelves in there to keep bins on to keep stuff separated and stuff like that so these right here would be so good for that because just look at them for one thing they're awesome yes i love them so gray and pink guys let me show you these together gray and pink what gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so and then another thing that i found that i was a little bit crazy over was these right here and i found gray um i've already got pink ones like this but gray so i'm like i got two more of these there's two right here together so yes these are so good to store like um coloring books or you know like if you are doing a project maybe making an afghan and store like yarn and all your stuff like that in here store your coloring books and your um packs of of crayons and and pencils and you know just stuff like that just to keep everything looking neat and tidy i just think these right here are good i love the long handles i know a lot of people say that they're going to be great for the beach and stuff like that i have no beach plans for the near future but those bins i just absolutely love those and that, i think i have the pink and like the seafoam green color or super light teal baby teal i don't know but anyway yeah there's those and then I grabbed these and these are to act these are Febreze these are the seven the seven count which I think is a good deal for a buck it's the glad um, Hawaiian Aloha Febreze I'm gonna smell these 
Mm, they smell really good. So these I'm going to keep in my um, storage room, which is my closet as well, but it's also like my storage room. So I'm going to keep these in there. And as I find stuff or bring stuff in that I decide that I'm going to donate to my aunt's church, I will go ahead, bag it up right then and there. Then when I get two or three or four bags ready to go, I'll run them up to her house and just keep things from getting cluttered at my house. So I just think that's a brilliant idea. So I'm just going to keep these in my room, have them ready to roll. So, and then here's a wish list, guys. I saw somebody hauling this. I can't remember who it was I was watching, but I'm like, oh, MG, that's definitely one of my wish list. It is the Disney Villains, and look at this. This guy right here is from The Princess and the Frog. And then we have, of course, of, co of course, of course, Maleficent. And then this guy, who's this guy? See, I haven't seen all of the Disney movies yet, but of course, this one's from um, uh, my, uh, my Little Mermaid. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. And then, of course, we have Cruella de Vil. And then, hold on. This is Maleficent on the bottom. So, who, this is the Snow White. Wait, who's Maleficent? Who's Maleficent? I mean, like, I know. What the? What the what? Sleeping Beauty, right? Sleeping Beauty. And then this is the Snow White. Okay, I got that so totally screwed up just now. But anyway, this is the Snow White one. Okay, yeah. The stepmother, right? I mean, just not say anymore. I'm just, I'm just getting all messed up. But anyway, aren't these fabulous? Look at that. I love these. So, super glad to find a wish list item, guys. Love it. And then I found some cute socks for my son. My sons. We'll see. So um, I ended up getting three new pair of socks. These are all from Juncture. And Father's Day is coming up. And I don't know if I'm going to do Father's Day bags this year. I think I'm just going to wait and just do um, Christmas. Just Christmas. I'm just going to stick with Christmas, guys. So I'm just going to gather socks. And then at the end, I'll divide them all up between my two sons and let that be that. So I got this one right here, which is has all the tools on it. The screwdriver, the saws, drills, stuff like that. So I thought that was really cute. And then this one, look at this. It has like the deer heads. Look at that. That is cute. Like that's one of my favorites. The deer head socks. And then this one, OMG. Look at the red alien face. I know my son Josh will end up with these because he's alien crazy. But they also have like skull, skull and crossbones. There's lightning rods. There's music notes, uh, arrows, dollar signs. So I think these are really cool. I think I should try to find another. But if I see any more of these, I'll go ahead and grab some for my other son as well. But like I really think that those are really cool. And that red alien... Too bad I can't wear these bad boys because, you know, I would. I would. And then I grabbed one of these. The one in my bathroom is running out. So I thought I would try this lemon. It is lemon fresh. And I could sort of get a whiff of it in there. But these, some of them you can squeeze like from the tops and you can smell it a little better. These are not like that. But if you squeeze it, you can still smell it. Ooh. Or you can pop the top off and smell it. Woo! That smells really good. That's strong and I just like smelling it like that. But that smelled really, really good. I love lemon anyway, so boom. And now we know how to open them. Boom. Is that really how you open them? Like, have I been doing it wrong all these years? What just happened? Okay. Okay. I'll roll them with that. Okay, and then I got one glass. So let me just say, let me turn my air up a little. It's hot. It's hot. Um, I got one glass because I already have one like this at the house. And it's just the super thick. I mean, these bad boys are really good quality glasses. I've had that other one for a while. And it's really a good glass. And I just thought I'd like to have two of them. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and get another one. My, this is my hubby's favorite every night for dinner. It's either chocolate milk or strawberry milk. So, yes, that is what he likes. 
okay? And I went ahead and grabbed these because I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Okay, I'm not going back keto, but I am starting to eat low carb, okay? Set it, boom, there. That's it. I'm starting to eat low carb. So anyway, I thought I'd try these. These are the sweet and mild. They're the brims. I don't know. They're, they did have one kind there. I can't remember if it was salt and vinegar. I feel like it was a salt and vinegar. I don't know if it was a Brim's, but I do know that I did not like them. To me, they tasted like some kind of chemical or something like that. So I did not like them. So I thought I'd give these a whirl. I haven't had a, you know, because when you're on keto, like this is like no carbs. You can have these. Like you kind of get burnt out on pork rinds. But I haven't been on keto for a while. So I thought I'd go ahead and give these a whirl. I would do a taste test. But the sound of eating one of these is absolutely atrocious. So I will not put you guys through that, okay? We ain't doing it. We ain't putting you guys through that. Okay, and then the other day, I hauled the other three glasses like this. And I asked you guys, is there another color? And like, I'm like, I feel like that there was, you know, because I think I got the dark blue, red, definitely, maybe pink. I'm thinking. So I'm like, I feel like there has to be at least one more just because things usually come out in like sets of four or colors of four. So yes, I saw this. I'm like, there's that other color. So I went ahead and got it. Look at that. Like these are, man, I wouldn't mind. I mean, like, you know me, I do like different colors and stuff like that. But like, if I was going to have a set of glasses, I'm really digging these. Like these would be so, like four of these, you know, just like, I'm digging these. I love that color. That color. Boom, baby. I like that color. Um, I got a couple of pictures to hang up in Jack's room. They're kind of along the same theme. Definitely the same theme. They're sort of tie-dyed. They're sort of, uh, or they got the same font. So definitely these will be hanging together in her room. So this one says, Wish Upon a Star. And if you can see, it's a really light color of pastel tie-dyed look to it. I think it's really pretty. It'll look really pretty on her walls, the color of walls that we painted for her, which is sort of a pinky purple, really super light color. But this will look really good hanging in there. And then this one right here, I love it. It's a girl's world. And so these hanging together either beside or, you know, like that. So I just, I love that this one has like some blue on top and it just, they're just really pretty pictures. Perfect for a little girl's, um, I don't want to say cave, but what is it? Empire? No, that's not it either. A little girl's, you know, like the queen and king have a, I don't know. Kingdom? A little girl's kingdom? Is that what I'm trying to think of? I don't know. Good grief. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. Yes. Yes. So I got a new shirt out on my merch shelf down below. So if you scroll down and you see that, it's Queenager. I've actually got me one on the way. I think I'm going to make like a Queenager squad. Like... Yeah, like all of us, like over 30, I'm thinking, over 30, not even senior citizens, over 30 can be a queenager, right? I love that. Uh, yeah, so we are totally going to start a queenager club, and yeah, we're going to get down. Like, we're going to do some stuff. I just love that idea. If you want to be a queenager, let me know, guys. I just think it's a great idea. I love it. Anyway. Queenager Club of America, Queenagers, we're Queenagers. Anyway, yes, let me get off that. Um, I saw these again. Uh, they usually have these coming out around Father's Day. I got these because those little scissors there, my hubby and his little scissors, like, and tweezers, like little scissors and tweezers is like something he wants a storage, a storage bin for, <laughs> just like, because they disappear so much. And, and the poor guy, like, you know, when your stuff disappears, it's just a bummer. It just really is. So, yeah. Okay, I found two candles. Let me just say, they had more. Uh, this is what I've been smelling. Oh, my gosh. So, now that the order is off, if you've been vaccinated, don't have to wear a mask. I am thrilled about that. Let me just say, I'm happy with that. I'm not wearing my mask. I'm done. Um, been vaccinated. So, 
now that when I go into Dollar Tree, I can smell the candles again. So anyway, I saw these sitting there and I love that kind of glass. Like, like for me to think of the name of this glass is probably not gonna happen, but Hobnail? Is that it? Tell me guys, is it Hobnail? I mean, that just came to my mind. Anyway, I got two of these. They're both the same kind. Now they had a light pink, I think a yellow and a light blue, all with different scents. But this scent, are you ready for this? Salted Butter Toffee, OMG. Can I just say, these things right here, oh my gosh. Oh, these things right here, baby. They smell so good. They smell phenomenal. Salted Butter Toffee. Oh, I think I'm put. I think I have it upside down. There we go. Boom. Salted butter toffee. Oh my gosh, guys. If you see these, pick them up because they are absolutely wonderful. Oh, I shouldn't put them in with the other glasses. Okay. I grabbed a little three pack of ducks. Okay. So I feel like. I don't know. One of the ducks look, look, looks littler. But anyway, okay, let me just explain why I got these. For some reason, and I've never had it happen to me, but if you own a Jeep, like apparently you are expected to put ducks on other people's Jeeps, like the door handle, and like you might come back to your car and find a duck on your Jeep. Like, I don't know. It's called ducking Jeeps. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know where it began or why they do it. But, like, if somebody ducks in my Jeep, like, I want to have a, I want to have ducks to give back, okay? So, I know that they use, like, all kinds of different ducks. But what I'm thinking, these ducks are pretty plain, right? Well, I'm going to get my um, eyeliner that I use. And I am going to give these ducks some dramatic lashes because... Yeah, because, yeah, lashes, right? So, because I'm a queenager, okay? And I like lashes. But anyway, I'm going to lash these bad boys up, and I'm going to duck me a Jeep. So, if you live in my area, be prepared for a lash, a dramatic lash duck, okay? I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay, so I grabbed these. Let me just say, the other day when I was in there, I was starving, and I'm like, I'm not going to go into all of that. That doesn't even smell good. Um, this is a glazed lemon pie. I'm going to give this to my mother-in-law. She likes lemon. She likes pies. And we're not picking up our store list until or our store our store pick up our, our order until tomorrow. So she, believe me, she will be glad to have this. And also there is a chocolate pie here. I'll save my son. Once that, I can't really smell that one. But yeah, I was I was starving the other day when I was in there. And I was eating everything in sight when I was in there. So I'm like, give me this, give me this, give me this. And I'm not going to eat those. I'm not. So anyway, I found this puzzle, guys. This is a 48-piece puzzle. Okay, so it says Big Diamonds Love Girls. Look at this puzzle. Okay, there's what it looks like when it's all together. Let me get it. Look at this, Big Diamonds Love Girls. Look at these lips right here. Look at that, look at these diamonds. <gasps> OMG, like this gives me Wonder Woman vibes and like 60s or 50s vibes. And I just think it, it's fantastic. I loved it, I had to have it. I'm like, come on, get in my buggy. You're going with me, yes. Okay, and then they had some of these out, some of these new colors, okay? These are the West Virginia colors. So I'm like, you know, they had more colors there, but they, they had these sitting beside each other. And I'm like, yes, please. I love the way these look. They are, this is definitely West Virginia colors. So I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and get these two. So I got these just to store coloring books in that I'm saving for giveaways, okay? Cause I do have a lot of coloring books, guys. If I ever did a coloring book haul with you guys, or not a haul, but just a collection of coloring books that I own and coloring books that I have that I'm planning on doing giveaways on, you guys would turn me off, okay? Y'all be like, 
turn that off. I can't watch anymore. Like, we've been watching for seven hours straight. Seriously, uh, I've got a lot of coloring books. So, I just need to have a way to organize my coloring books, okay? Right now, they're not all that organized. Like, I mean, I got some here and some there and some behind the door and some behind my bed. And, you know, there's just like a little bit of everywhere. I just need to organize them a little bit better. So, boom, baby. I got these. I'm going to see how it works. I think it'll work really well. So, like... Yeah, and these colors, come on. Mountaineers, baby. Mountaineers are always free, our motto. Okay, and then I grabbed this, and let me tell you why really quick. So, right now, I've got two, and I think they have, they're small. They're not like this. They're small, they're wooden, and they have four hooks, I think, on each one. And I have two of them that I hang all of my necklaces on. Now, I'm a necklace fiend. As you know, I'm a jewelry fiend. I love necklaces. I love bracelets. I love rings. I love earrings. I love it all. And my collection is pretty big. So, the way that I have all my necklaces just kind of hanging on top of each other, I can't see them good enough to, like, when I'm picking out my jewelry for the day, like, I like to mix it up. You know, I have a lot of people that send me jewelry. I like for the people that send me jewelry to see me wear the jewelry that they send me. So, I need a better way to display my jewelry so I can take items, you know, and, you know, actually get to them. So, I'm going to get my hubby to hang this up for me. It has seven wonderful, glorious hooks that I will be able to hang several necklaces on and be able to actually see them better. And, yeah, I really, really need this. So, yeah, I'm going to have him do this for me on my wall. It comes with these, the mounting screws and everything. And it's just called uh, wall mount wire rack. This is going to be so perfect for my necklaces, okay? I'll be able to see them. I'll be able to wear them, you know, because some of the ones right now that are in the back, it takes way too long for me to get all the ones in the front moved. You know, it's like, it's, it's just a hard thing. So, I was, I thought that was a great idea when I was in there. So, yes. Okay. And then, I grabbed one of these, but I, I don't know. I've got me, like, somebody, one of you guys, a couple of you guys, had sent me pictures of different items that are really good to make your tires super shiny and your bumpers. So, tomorrow, I'm planning on washing my car and shining up these wheels, baby, because right now, okay, I got some spray armor all in the Dollar Tree, like, that kind of spray that it was tire shine and the day we went to the carnival I sprayed it on my tires and like the overspray got on the bumper and like on the rims and stuff and it just looks like pure crap okay like pure crap and I'm scared to take my car through like um automated car thing just because it's new to me and I'm just a I'm just a scared. I'm a scared of what'll happen. But anyway, I saw this and I'm thinking I can spray this on a rag or on a sponge and apply it that way instead of spraying it and letting the over, the over spray get on my stuff. You know, I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look darn good because it's a beauty. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Yes. So anyway, I grabbed that. I thought, let me try this because it's, it's different. Okay. And then here's a wish list item. I know, finally, can you believe it? Finally found a wish list item. So this is the vitamin C cleansing cloths from Global Beauty Care. So vitamin C, um, I was super glad to find these. You get 60 wet cloths in here. Now this is the only ones that I have seen. I know that there are, I'm at my wish list, baby. I can't wait to get back to the Dollar Tree because I'm really hoping to find some more stuff. My, my wish list is growing, um, but, like, I know that there's, like, a three-pack of face wipes going around and stuff, so I'm, I'm waiting to get back to see if my DT puts out some more stuff, my big one in Beckley, like, less than a half a mile from me right now, like, I'd like to go, but anyway, boom, there is that, so I, this was a wish list. I'd like to smell it. I'm going to smell it just because the one in my... Um, the the one in my ba my makeup bag, if that's what you want to call it, um, is almost out, so I'll be using this. Um, you will probably 
it says, wait a minute, this is interesting to me. Let me get my little reading glasses right here. I'm curious. I'm curious on what this is saying because, okay, it says, the thickest wipes you will probably ever use is inside. If you love it, brag about it using hashtag global beauty care. What? Ah, I didn't know. I didn't know. How cool is that? So it helps st stimulate collagen synthesis and skin cell regeneration. What? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I need some of that skin cell regeneration up in here. Let me smell these. I have to smell. Oh, they don't have much of a smell. Just a very mild smell. And I really can't tell what it smells like. But yes, is that a pack of wipes or what? Yes. Super thrilled to find those. Yes, please. Okay. I just grabbed these for Jack. She wasn't with me. And she, that girl, she loves her some nails. So I'm like, those are just so super cute. She loves cats. She loves nails. So this is llamas. So this is llamas. Let me just... Is this llamas, really? Like, I thought they were cats in the store, and I'm like, oh, she loves cats. These are llamas. Okay, she likes llamas, too, okay? She likes llamas, too. So, they're cute. Look at them. So cute. She'll enjoy that. She enjoys that so, so much. Okay. Uh, did I mention I was hungry when I was up in there? Boom. These are, I'll have to give these to my son. Yeah, coconut rolls. If you have never tried those, though, these bad boys are so good. I haven't bought them in a while, but you get 2.1 ounces, and they are little rolls. They look like that right there. And if you like sesame, anything sesame, you are going to love these bad boys right here. They are super good. So, yes. And then I found something I'm going to do a giveaway with. Uh, first of all, I found this right here. This was a wish list item. It is the Suave Tropical Paradise. So, I'm going to smell it. Let's give her a... Ooh, I smell it without even taking this thing off. Let's give her a whirl. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I smell coconut. I smell pineapple. I smell pina coladas. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, if you haven't grabbed that, grab you up some of that. That smells wonderful. Um, Anti-staining, 48-hour protection. Really? I don't have to believe that. I don't have to see that to believe it. I don't have to believe that to see it. Okay, though, I like that. Tropical Paradise, anti-staining. Uh, it looks like it's not aluminum-free, so if you are looking for aluminum-free, steer clear. And then... But I'll, oh, I found one of these. Like, I'm going to see. I feel like that this would be a really good thing to have. It's called a hair cyclone. It's from Dr. Reuter, which is also that, like, snake-looking thing that I have. That is a Dr. Reuter thing my husband uses to get hair out of the drain. But this is cool. Never get hair clogs again. Wow, that's interesting. I'm going to have to give this to my husband and, and see what he thinks about it. See if he wants to use it. But, yeah. If you see one of these and you have problems with hair clogging up your drains, guys, this might be worth it. I don't know. If you guys know if these are worth a buck, let me know. Because I'm just curious on that. And then I grabbed these Weilers. I've been drinking a lot more water here lately. This is the strawberry lemonade. Now, I know I got the pink lemonade and the regular lemonade the other day. So here's the strawberry lemonade. And that just sounds good to me. On a hot day, some strawberry lemonade. Yes, please. And then, what is in here? Oh, I hauled this the other day to paint my toenails with. And I lost it. Yeah, it's probably under my seat somewhere in the car. I don't even know. But I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm like, it's just a buck. I'll get it again. And then I'll give Fifi my other one. So this color, though, can you say boom, baby? This color is ridiculously gorgeous. I love it. It's going to look really good on some toes. It'll probably take five coats. No, I think three should do it, though. I mean, you know, this is boom, 
summertime. I love it. And then I just got two more of these. I got a, I, I could have sworn it was in this stuff here, but I don't even know. I feel like I got a um, candle holder jar, you know, that is really pretty somewhere. So I got these to put inside. I don't really use like the votive candles. I love these. You get 240 hours each with these. So like these things last forever as long as you turn it off. You know, they last forever and they look like they're flickering and they are not dangerous. Like they're not going to get knocked over. They're not going to catch anything on fire. So I just love having these. I think these, these are really great. And then I said I was getting out there tomorrow to wash my car. So I've got me some uh, turtle wax car wash ordered or, or in my click list bug uh, cart. I haven't checked out yet, but I, I do have that in the cart. So I'll be picking that up tomorrow. And this right here, I'm just going to use this and some hot water. And I got me a couple sponges and a chamois. Yeah, I got a chamois from Dollar Tree Baby. But anyway, I'm going to use this to wash my car. And then last but not least, guys, and I'm going to do a giveaway on this really quick, just because this is the Quitters Quitters, the Quitters Guide to Finishing. And I have done a giveaway on one of these in the past. I didn't think I'd ever see them again. And I have one and I think these books are absolutely awesome. It says, are you someone who starts a project, joins a club, goes on a diet and then gives up? This book is for you, baby. And it's just a really, it's, it's just a really interesting Lots of positive quotes, good vibes, good feel type of book, okay? So if you want to enter this giveaway, just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, make sure that you are um, 18 years or older. Live inside the U.S. only right now, guys. And then also, please just comment in the... Um, comments obviously in the comment section just comment hashtag book okay let's just make it simple hashtag book yeah if you'd like to win this because this is a really good little book to have if you are a quitter and uh, let me just say i'm a quitter i'm a quitter i start things and no, don't finish them all the time okay art projects diets just like a puzzle, you know, if I start something, I quit. I quit. I mean, like, I'm not a finisher. So, yeah, so I still haven't read it. I still haven't read it. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't read it. So, we're going to say, it's. It, we're going to say, like, it's going to work if you actually take the time to read it. Okay, here, there's another thing. I start books all the time and don't finish them. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, let's go ahead and call it quits. We are up to 32 minutes, uh, probably more. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting on, guys? Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hashtag book if you want to win i'll draw in a couple of days um when you least expect it i'll draw so be watching for that that's why you need to hit that bell button down there just to make sure or that bell button it's over here in it yeah just to make sure that uh when i upload the video that you will see that i uploaded the winner video so you'll see if you won and if you haven't watched the um giveaway from last night craven's stimulus the winner still has not come forward i have not heard from her yet so it go if you haven't watched that and you entered that for that may stimulus guys go check it out go see if you won it might be you 100 bucks baby 100 bucks cash yes okay guys have a great rest of your day 